All right, everybody, good morning. It's Kelly Williams with The Kelly Williams Show, and I'm so excited because I'm hanging out with Chris Block, owner of Yachtcations, and y'all are located right here in Kima, Texas. We have always been located right here in <laughs> Kima, Texas. You didn't move from somewhere. Six years. You've always been here. I did a little time in the Virgin <laughs> Islands and learned something there and brought it back here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so Chris, today actually um, you have a lesson, Yep. and it's Cliff. Yes, it the is. The Cliff. The Cliff from McElroy Arlington. from yeah, Arlington, yes. McElroy. And, uh, and so because you give lessons for people who have never sailed. Correct. Uh, never sailed or maybe they did some boating and they just want to learn the large catamaran lifestyle. Yeah. Folks are, you know, selling their house, selling their business, retiring, and want to do something a little bit different. And instead of taking lessons where you start off on a small 22-footer and graduate up to a large boat like a 45 <laughs> yeah. footer we start you on a 45 footer okay see and that's really interesting because you think you'd start learning on something like a little boat <laughs> It'd be, but, but you, know, you know what you don't because why you're wasting it, it doesn't valuable as time. you get older you don't have the time no. exactly so it's like we don't need to start you on the tricycle to get you on the motorcycle no that's let's right let's get you on like a motorcycle it. and see and just where kinda, it yeah and go yeah go have fun yeah. um i love this and this is you know these lessons and things they're open for anybody. You can call, somebody can call you and say, "Hey, I need some lessons. I'm ready to move and get on a catamaran." The only license that's required. And yeah. I had to look this up the other day. Is if you were born after 1993. Which what? I'm close. Yeah. But if you were <laughs> oh, born, well, I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be eligible. <laughs> if you were no, if you were born <laughs> after 93, you do have to get a Texas boater's license. Okay. But that means, and I don't want to do the math right now, but. I don't know, 20 some odd year olds can learn how to do this now. Oh, wow. And be well prepared. Yeah. And have me, you, Cliff. Yeah. Um, All of us helping. To be able to do this on demand when it's time to do this. I like it. That is very, very cool. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of uh, behind the scenes today with Cliff because he's getting a lesson today. This is really, really exciting. And, and uh, what lesson is it? Number lesson, four. Lesson number four. So he's wow. halfway through our insurance He's ready to take it all program. the way out somewhere really cool, I think. When we get to about lesson five, and Cliff's a little ahead of the game, so, yeah. you know, it'll be today. <laughs> um, I get to the point where doing a lesson is asking my student to take me sailing. Oh, wow. And so today, lesson four, we're going to work on a lot of driving, docking, anchoring. We have to go to the pump-out dock, which, yes, it's a <laughs> blank job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, we have to go to the fuel dock. Very common. We got to add a yeah. little bit of fuel to this boat. Yeah. Um, just to keep it running. And uh, yeah, so we're at that point where it's not going to be a lot of sailing today. And depending how we do in the driving part, it's going to be mostly driving. Okay. Which oh is my tough gosh. on a boat that's 26 feet wide. Yeah. It's wider than most people are used to. Yeah. On a boat. That's amazing. So it's 45 right. feet long, 26 feet wide. Uh, okay, that's really cool. Okay, so stay tuned because we're going to have behind the scenes look at how Chris gives lessons to people to drive these awesome catamarans and this is really cool. So okay Chris, have fun today. Will do, thank we're gonna, you. Uh, we're going to see you in just a minute. Yes you will. Doing your thing. Very good. Alright, we'll see you and I am right here with the one and only Cliff McElroy. Yes. Yes, right sir. here ladies and gentlemen and no he does not play golf. Well, do you play golf? I do not. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cliff is actually drove down. He is taking private lessons from Chris right here at Yachtcations, which anybody can do. So how cool is that um, on these gorgeous catamarans? Cliff, what made you really quickly, you know, decide to, you wanted to take lessons? Well, I wanted a little more experience. I, I, I spent a week on a catamaran in the, in the Virgin Islands. Cool and got a bare boat license. Wow. But before I chartered somebody's million dollar yacht, I wanted a little <laughs> more experience. And so... <laughs> that was a very good decision. I like it. You, you're a good clear thinker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. <laughs> um, was this kind of always a dream of yours? To, no. To sail, be a captain and no, I started sail watching, off in the ocean? I started watching, like most people do, the YouTube channels, yeah. Sailing the Vagabond, things like that. Yeah. And I thought, wow, that would be a good hobby or maybe a lifestyle eventually. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Now, what do you do in Arlington? I own a restaurant. <gasps> what restaurant? It's called Angelo's. Uh, I like it. Spaghetti. Where does Angelo's come from? The name? 
I don't, you know, I started working for the for the family when I was 14. Oh my goodness. And worked my way up. I like so, it. That's yeah. very cool. Well, I'm not sure where they got it. <laughs> I think it started with A and that was the first name in the phone book. So. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of behind the scenes, just a little bit today of your lesson. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm really excited and I'm so excited to get to meet you today because yeah, nice I'm sure I'm going to be back filming you some more with some further and further lessons no, no as you pressure, get ready right. uh, to take it out on your own, which I'm really excited for you. All right, Cliff, are you excited for today? I am. I'm real excited. Okay. Awesome. How's Chris as an instructor? He's amazing. He's, yeah. He's very patient. Yeah. He's and got he, that personality. And he lets me work my way out of problem. I like that. Instead of just telling me what to do. Yeah. And that's the way I learn. Yeah. So it helps a lot. Yeah. He doesn't yell at people. Yeah. Well, he had yelled at me. <laughs> I can't speak for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be interviewing people later. No kidding. Uh, okay, good. Well, we're excited for your adventure doing all this, and uh, awesome. good luck on your fourth lesson well, today. Thank you. All right. Appreciate nice it. to meet you today. Nice to meet you. All right. Okay, guys, stay tuned for behind the scenes of Cliff McElroy's lessons right here at Yachtations with the amazing Chris Block. We'll see you in a little bit. Built-in prime timer. Uh, you got to press and hold till it fires, and you'll hear it. Even with the loud stereo. You can hear that pump kicking on. Yeah. It's both a fuel pump and a water pump. Okay. Generator's on, that light should be green. It's green. Give it a few minutes to kind of warm up and make sure everything's cool. If it does shut down uh, immediately or within minutes, it gives you a flashing code, and that's your little secret decoder right next to it. Okay. 90% of the time when a generator shuts down, it's because of lack of cooling water. 90% of lack of cooling water is due to a bad help. Okay, okay. Why everything's part of the lesson. I usually keep those covers out here. Okay. Yeah, I could remember. Right here. That's why it's all repetition, huh? Yeah. Okay. Do that. Take the radio. Radio on. Radio on. Okay. Radios are very important. Check, check, check. Cliff, you got that horn. You want me to blast it at you? <laughs> no. Both of those breakers were on. There wasn't anything in there. Yeah, it's carelessness or laziness. Wow, that was heavy. A little bit shorter than the other one, so. things to remove. Good. We got the first one. Yep. And now we're going to um, start disconnecting these lines. Okay. Probably leave the port side on last. Why? Well, no, I guess the wind's going that way. Which way is the wind blowing? Blowing from, from whatever direction that is. Okay. <laughs> so now let's let's double check that. How do we know where the wind's blowing from? Uh, the the gate, the, the wind uh, vane on top of the vane. What else would you use? To just feel it. Yeah. Where do you feel the wind blowing well, from? I feel it from here. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. So what's another it way is to check? What's it? So feeling it. Feeling it. The gauge. What else? The way the water's moving. Good. If you look behind you, what do you see? Oh, flag. She said, as a captain, you're allowed to tell crew members, including myself and now Kelly. Okay. And it's this RD. Oh, yeah, good point.
he'll put them where he wants them. That's going to be last. last. We'll always leave last on the windward stern line. Okay, okay. Okay, just a little. Okay. So now I'm going to call a security just to let everybody know what we're doing. I want the rudder at, at neutral or does it matter? Always neutral, it matters a lot. Yeah, okay. You see the rudder indicator down there? Yeah. Center? We're at two. Yeah, so make it two. 